it has been far too long since I've been out on the bike just for fun. Let's get out of town. to get out of the city. I don't often go to places like provincial parks. There's just too many people, too much craziness. This park has a really cool back trail with a really gorgeous view that's quiet. There's nobody there, no screaming kids, no screaming people. It's a great spot that I can just pretend like nobody else exists for a little while, but I'm gonna take you there. I think you'll approve. And here we are. It's spaces and times like this that I really sort of realize how much I'm a man with feet in two worlds. Half city boy and half country boy. I grew up in the country, so there's a really huge part of me that I come out here and it just feels good and calm and home. And then at the same time, as soon as I graduated high school, I ran away to the biggest city that was doable, which was Edmonton. And, and then as soon as I could get to a bigger one, which is Vancouver, I went there and, and I loved the life and the intensity and the vibrancy and the arts and the crush and just the, just the people being around the things that people made and the city that people have built. And yet at the same time, after Vancouver, I ended up back in my little small town again. I don't really know which one is my home or if maybe the middle ground is my home. Maybe the whole tension of the two is what makes me unique and special. The thing that makes me a beautiful snowflake. That's what this is, by the way. In case you're ever wondering, most people refer to this is the beautiful snowflake. Nobody refers to it as the beautiful snowflake, like at all. I've been thinking a lot about who I am and the makeup of who I am lately because of doing these videos and trying to find my spot. Finding that thing that's uniquely mine has is, is been probably one of the most fun parts of doing these videos and to even just do stuff like this, which is stuff that I would always do anyway. But think about it with the frame of figuring out who I am. That's really fun. Yeah, it was wrong. There are people out here, just grizzled wanderers. Maybe I'm a grizzled wanderer. Anyway, the more I think about it, the more I realize that it's that tension, that mix of the two worlds, the country boy and the city boy, that does make me who I am and what makes me unique and what ultimately makes this channel unique. The mix of the country boy and the city boy. See, now I have ideas, maybe good ideas. I could just be having heat stroke too. It's, it's warm out here. Should head back before I die though. driving home, I remembered a story that I heard a few years back, right when my grandpa had passed away and we learned that we were indigenous and not just dark French. It was about this journalist down in the States who went to do some reporting on a story with the Ogala Sioux and he knew that he had some relatives from there and so he went and it was kind of like a coming home a little bit for him. And one of the elders there asked him where he was from and he kind of told his background and said, oh, I'm also part Sioux from here. And she scrunched up her face and looked at him and went, hmm. And then he left and when he came back, she did the same thing, but this time went, hmm, is it your ear? And then the next time when she came, she looked at him and went, mm, your foot, could, it could definitely be your foot. Maybe it's your foot. And this kept going on for quite a while each time with a different body part till eventually he asked what she was doing and, and she said to him, you're a whole person. You're not part anything. You are what you are. All the parts that make you up are all you and they're all fully you. You are what you are. Mm -hmm. 